Join us on Facebook. There you'll find all the latest battle reports, expanded narratives, and scenes of the hobby as we prepare for the next games. Hope to see you there. So this week I am playing the Defenders, and this is actually kind of a viewer's request uh, game. So we asked who uh, you would like to see us play, and uh, one of our viewers came back and said they'd like to see Mystic Hulk. Specifically Hulk in the Defenders, obviously using Doctor Strange's leadership ability, so that sounded fantastic to us. Doctor Strange again is going to be leading this team then with the Hulk. Uh, due to the number of points that cost right off the bat, uh, I had to be very careful with who else I took. Wong was kind of an obvious choice. And then I went with Hawkeye and Valkyrie. That gives me actually a full Defenders team, uh, so everyone will get a benefit from the ability. I don't have actually any Defenders cards specifically, so oh well. But this is a very well-rounded team, I feel. Hawkeye and Valkyrie are very powerful. Doctor Strange is super powerful. Hulk can be powerful. And Wong is just kind of there, I guess. Um, when it comes to the team tactics, the uh, Pentagram of Farlaw was a given. That's a great transportation uh, spell, and I've seen it do a lot of awesome things. One-two punch uh, was a kind of a given to add a little extra oomph when I needed it. Extreme conditioning was specifically brought in for the Hulk. I wanted him to be able to do a long move. The other two uh, cards, the Seven Sons of Cinnabis and Vapors of Altor, uh, they're Doctor Strange specific. They seemed iffy. I wanted to see if I could make them work because they do seem like they'd be very powerful. Now, I also brought the Infinity Gem that kind of belongs up top with uh, Doctor Strange, but I put it down with the rest of the cards because it is a card. Uh, so Doctor Strange is rocking the Soul Gem. Uh, so overall, I am pretty excited to see how this is going to work out. This week, I am playing the Uncanny X-Men with Storm as leader. Cyclops, Thanos, Beast, and Nebula. Um, this is pretty cool. Uh, we're bringing in Thanos to basically to um, go up against Hulk. And I think I don't have a specific strategy. I'm just going, I want to do Thanos versus Hulk and everything else, just kind of see how it plays out. Um, my team tactic cards I brought first class to me, my X Men, Brace for Impact. Med pack and advanced R&D. And then Thanos also has the reality gem and the power gem. I'm familiar with all of these cards. To me, my X-Men is the only one I've never really used. I've really wanted to use it. So I hope that I get a chance.
I've got priority. Storm is my leader. So I'm going with Beast first. I'm wanting him to uh, look through the rubble because he's got a lot of, he accumulates a lot of power. Um, I'm using first class, so I don't have to pay a power for it though. And I got a critical. And critical means that you located. Yes. All right. Well, I'm going to be starting with Valkyrie. Uh, well, kind of out of focus, Valkyrie. Sorry about that. Um, so I've always wanted to try Valkyrie. Nikki has played her against me numerous times, and I know how lethal she can be. Um, so I am going to uh, do what she often does to me as well and do a charge strike into Beast on round one. Uh, not only is that a great way to get up, but it uh, can hopefully put some damage on. And starting this game out very well, five so far. So all in all, I will end up doing uh, three damage to her. Uh, she also did incur one damage from the previous round when she picked up the uh, core because it specifies you have to attack uh, and obviously she had nothing to attack. So, so Beast's in trouble. Yes. He's not doing good. <laughs> okay, so Storm. And I'm just going to move her by the serum. That was an action-packed move. Yes. Be prepared for some more action-packed. So I am using Wong's ability to meditate to grab an extra uh, power. And then I'm going to transfer it using two power to Doctor Strange. So for two power, I give him one. And then I'm moving Wong up. He just is going to go grab that uh, serum. Um, and this is... Oh, Nebula, and she's using uh, Storm's leadership ability to move up a little extra. So I'm moving her. I'm wanting her to be close to whatever people Andy puts by the serum so she can attack them. I thought about just leaving her um, behind the truck just for some cover, but ultimately, and this is what I'm trying to decide right now, ultimately I'd move her up there just so she'll be in a better position. Yeah, that was a good move. I mean, that was, I think, the best move there. I don't really have any ranged over here, so... So speaking of ranged, it's Hawkeye, another person who Nikki has annoyed me with in numerous games. I was looking forward. Uh, this is a, an all defenders team, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so I'm moving him up again. This is just getting ready for the future turns. Um, wanting him to grab that extra power. Is this the first time you played Hawkeye? Or? Maybe the first or second time. I don't know. I may have played it before. All right. So Cyclops. Measuring to see if he's in range of, I'm honestly not sure. <laughs> Maybe, oh, probably Hawkeye. Just leave my people alone. <laughs> Seriously. Stupid range four right off the bat for zero cost. All right, and Doctor Strange. This is my second time getting to play him. Um, I forgot how really good he is, and as we play this game, we're going to remember how good he is. He's so annoying. <laughs> like, 
I seriously cannot stand Doctor Strange when I'm... I've never played him myself, so I just have bad feelings towards him. <laughs> okay, so Thanos. Speaking of bad feelings. <laughs> and this game actually came about from a request. And <clears throat> what was the request exactly? Mystic Hulk versus Thanos. So basically Defenders Hulk against Thanos. Yeah, so this is exciting. I don't, I've never really th thought to myself, I want to play Thanos, but I had a lot of fun. We, we've opened up the demon in her on this one, so she loved Thanos. Uh, so I'm using extreme conditioning when I activate Hulk. Uh, I'm trying to negate one of the main problems with him, which is his speed. Um, I feel this is way better use of power versus his mighty little gamma skip that he can do. Uh, so yeah, that was a nice little move, uh, first first movement. Uh, and now I am just moving him into position. Um, not a whole lot I can do with him. I guess I could have done a couple attacks, but I wanted him to start gathering some power. Uh, so I want to get on the other side of that uh, serum. I have plans for Hulk. I love Hulk. He's a lot of fun to play. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens. This is the power-up phase, um, and this is when you have to play the Pentagram of Farala. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using Wong. Uh, he has two power. I'm having him go ahead and create the uh, the portal there, or the yeah, I guess it's the portal. Um, about an inch away from him. I'm sorry, uh, size one away from him, and uh, so it's right there between him and Doctor Strange. And here we go with round two. Okay, so Beast is going to attack Valkyrie using Animalistic Freestyle. Every time I see Animalistic Freestyle, I keep on thinking of like an 80s drummer with those little <laughs> pad drums. I don't know why that makes me think of that. But I know, me too. Weirdly. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly that, but something similar. Um, so she added, or he added two because of uh, Dust Decree, which adds two to a healthy character. So it wasn't a great roll, but I rolled a wild, so I get to push her short. Yeah, Beast really manhandles her. And then, as well with Animalistic Freestyle, I can move Medium. So I'm going to move up and attack her again. So rude. Alright, so Animalistic Freestyle again, this time without Death Decree. So six dice. So three. Back to my blocking nothing again. Signature move. All right, so three. Uh, but I did roll a wild, so I'm pushing her short. And then I'm gonna move beast medium. I'm wanting to get him out of danger because he's got a lot of damage on him. I'm like trying to decide how to move him, and then I'm like, oh yeah, he's a wall crawler. He can just go over that truck. Yeah, we're like, well, I don't think you can do it su uh, such and such way. She's like, oh wait a minute, I can wall crawl. <laughs> Duh. Beast is awesome. And I hate Beast. I love hate Beast. <laughs> you haven't played him yet, right? No, I have not played so, him yet. Yeah, I do like Beast. I'm very clumsy today. I keep knocking things over. I did have the table pretty stuffed. Yeah. It it was thematic. We had to. All right. So it is the Hulk's turn. All right. So I'm going to start with a Gamma Skip, Gamma Leap, to get him within range of Thanos. Um, I didn't really, really need the extra power at this point, um, obviously. So I had no problem using it. And this allowed me to do two attacks on him. So I'm starting out with a Strike. 
Again, this is kind of what everyone, including myself and Nikki, have been waiting for. Uh, so, let's uh, start out with uh, 4 damage. And uh, I only end up doing 1. Uh, actually, no. I do 0. Yeah, because your stupid reality gem there. And then... Um, being of immeasurable power. So... No damage from that attack. I've got the reality gem and then the... Is it the power gem? The power gem. Okay. Or is it the soul gem? Nope, power gem. Okay. So I do another strike this time. A little bit better. I end up doing five on the initial roll. Her stupid crit again. But... So, uh, six... So I'll end up doing three damage to him this round because, again, of being of immeasurable power. But hey, we're starting. It's it's a start. You have to start somewhere with somebody with that many uh, hit points. Then I throw the truck at her, and I'm very happy about that. And she throws the brace for impact. I was at least hoping to knock a couple more points of damage off of him, but nope. Okay, Cyclops is going to attack Hawkeye. Yeah, I made a mistake. I had no idea that Hawkeye's energy defense was so crappy. Optic Blast. Is that three? Yep. Now, I believe I'm using Horgoth's Hori Wisdom. Um, yeah, I am. Okay, so now I am doing uh, Optic Devastation. Built up a little power. So this one's uh, Doctor Strange first. Terrible roll. <laughs> no damage. Uh, now, versus Hawkeye. And I'm again using Horgoth, sorry, Wisdom. Two. But you... I block it. Block it. Yeah. He lives to fight a little bit longer. Yeah. Good job, Doctor Strange. All right, Valkyrie. Let's go back to those shenanigans I love so much. This is a charge and strike. Now here comes the most amazing roll. <laughs> Five failures. You gotta, Count them. You gotta have a special kind of ability to roll that many. I know, right? Five <laughs> failures. Good lord. Now, she didn't block any of that. So I'm gonna use my stars and garters. I hate stars and garters so much. I cannot even begin to explain how much I hate stars and garters. I love stars and garters. You know how many times she has saved her butt with stars and garter? I mean, in all these games we played with him. So yeah, guess what? She did it again. So yeah, no damage from that fantastically failure roll. I, I should get, if you roll five failures, you should do like a, a super attack or something. Uh, so now I'm doing Warrior of Legend with the Dragon Fang. Um, I figure, come on, two points, this can happen. Two points. So Warrior of Legend with a dragon fang attack. Worst case scenario, roll the, the wild, which, what? Oh, I didn't roll wild. 
Ugh. Two dragon fang attacks, no wilds robed. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, and this time you didn't even have to use Stars and Garter. You just rolled super awesome. What can I say? Yes. <laughs> she is pretty awesome in all aspects. <laughs> okay, so Storm needs to move up just a little bit. So this is my first action is just moving her, but I want to stay within one of the serum. Did I mention how bad of a mistake I did with placing Hawkeye? <laughs> oh my goodness. So she's going to attack Hawkeye. So three. It didn't matter at this point. Uh, I couldn't block any more damage. Even if I rolled a crit and another block she would have I only had one hit left so or one stamina left so she dazed him so it's Wong Wong is gonna do what Wong does best he's gonna meditate now I didn't have enough to transfer over uh, so he just meditated for an extra power uh, to start building up for the next round all right so nebula and none of Andy's characters are on a serum over here, which is kind of disappointing because I want to attack them. She does best when someone's holding an objective, so um, she's going to attack Valkyrie. Two. So she's dazed. And then I'm just moving her. So it's now time for Doctor Strange. He's using the pentagram to teleport right over there. He says, hello beast. We're both doctors, we can talk this out. Psych, bolts of bedevilment beast. Because you're bedeviled. Get away from me, devil man. <laughs> I'm using the eye of Agamotto. I really need to knock him out. And I do just that. So he had the core. Uh, imagine it being flung into the air and Doctor Strange catching it like a receiver. And now he's like, I'm out of here. So I am trying to get away from Thanos. Yes. I'm not worried about anybody else but Thanos at this point. As you should be. Speaking of Thanos. Oh. Thanos. Thanos versus Hulk. This is a strike. So, five? Yeah, five. Uh, no block. No blocky. So that's a crit, because you have your reality gem. So, six. Six damage. Okay, so Cosmic Blast, and I'm spending three power to add three to the attack dice. And I think that's seven. Six. Six. Seven, yeah, because you're a reality gem again. Yeah. So 
someone rolled three criticals right there. I'm making some room. From all my successes, what should I do? <laughs> Alright, so that's nine. nine. Fifteen damage in one round, people. Fifteen. But that's plus five now to my tax, so that's awesome. Okay, so pushing him back short. And that's the end of round two. This is what I have been waiting for. I am so excited about this round. I get first activation, and I'm going to do another gamma skip. But I have plus five to my damage rolls right now. So, plus five dice. So guess what? And I'm awful up on power after taking 15 points of damage last round. Oh, this is going to be fun. So I am doing a thunderclap. Targeting Thanos first. Oh, that felt fun. Oh, that's so good. So that was nine damage. Even with her ridiculous reality gem. Okay, it's not ridiculous. I used it too. It's awesome, actually. Uh, I end up doing six points of damage. Oh, that is a stunned Thanos. Dazed. Dazed and confused. I think I should leave the room and let you go on and on and on. <laughs> A little more about it. <laughs> but here's where the theme of the game started to come up. And that theme is, oh shit, you've oh. got cover. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> Language. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you how much cover affected the rest of the game. No, you can watch and find out. So, I thought I dazed her. And as we realized, she had cover. So, no, I just did uh, four damage to her instead of five. So, now I'm, a, uh, I'm going on beast. And I roll pretty good. Yeah. That's seven. Or no, that's uh, six. Minus her one. That's five. I thought I dazed her. Or no, I thought I KO'd her. Oh, she had cover. So no, I didn't. Storm's leadership ability comes through again. Oh, <laughs> it was so heartbreaking. I thought I had taken out three characters in one round. So sorry, Andy. Um, so Beast. Okay, four. I have terrible eyesight, so I can't see that eye sometimes. <laughs> All right, so we're doing animalistic freestyle. Yeah, like he's putting his ball cap on backwards. I got cool. <laughs> You're still so happy about the thunderclap, aren't you? Seriously. <laughs> it's still a little victories. So I think from both those attacks, you did four and you made me bleed. Yes. Moving her short. I think you're trying to figure out where you're going to move. Yeah. And I'm going to try to move over by that serum. Your big old base. Definitely grab that. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I am activating Valkyrie. I am going to start off with a charge. And <laughs> I'm going to try the Dragon Fang attack again. Third time's a charm, right? So that's four. With a crit, though. No wild. There's my wild. Finally. Alright, so I'm using Stars and Garters to reroll three. For once, it didn't work out, and I actually KO'd Beast. Poor Beast. I still love you. And then I removed Bleed as my last action there. Okay, so Storm. Lightning bolt on Hawkeye. It's really hard to see the dice because there's a weird glare. Pretty sure that's four, though. Yeah. So this is uh, lightning bolt plus Eye of the Storm. You really want a Hawkeye out? I did. So I think you took two there. Yeah, I, t I took it. I'm, I'm shocked. But now it's time for Doctor Strange. MD. And I am going to use the Crimson Bands of Sutterac. It doesn't count unless you say it that way. I see. Yeah. So... Hit you for four. Uh, no hits, though, uh, as far as no, just straight up hits. Otherwise, you would have been bound. But still four damage. Use quick draw. Yeah, and I also, yeah, use quick draw. But cover saved you there, so you, you took three. So now it's time for Bolts of Bedevilment! Used Quick Draw again, I think. Yeah, well, my roll was pretty craptastic there. And you blocked it all. You were not bedeviled! Well, I was about to get dazed, so I, I wanted to make sure I was doing all I could. At least I remember this time you get staggered from the Crimson uh, Bands. I, I forgot that last game. Yeah, so he gets staggered, and this is a good time to say that I definitely should have used the Children of the Atom card instead of the uh, First Class card, because the First Class card didn't do me a whole lot of good in this crisis. Um, and if you're wondering, I did use Eye of Agamotto to try to re-roll and get better, but it did not work out. Okay, so Nebula, and she is going to... I think she used Med Pack for uh, Cyclops to heal him for three. And now she is going to move a little closer to Valkyrie. Hello, Valkyrie. No, <laughs> go away! <laughs> <laughs> I am totally not on an objective here. <laughs> Shock Sword Assault. She just had no half measures here for Nebula. <laughs> so I'm re rolling some attack dice there from, I think it's Assassin. Assassin. So six damage, I believe. 
Yep, KO! She KO'd me there. Alright, so that wasn't unexpected, honestly. It was bound to happen. I think I was only on one health. Valkyrie did a great job. Valkyrie, at the end, after a, a kind of craptastic beginning. Um, so, now Hawkeye. Not sure what happens with uh, our recording here, but I move up using the hookshot. I then move behind her with a normal move, but for some reason we didn't get that, so use your imagination. I move behind her, and now I'm going to do a classic Nikki move of shooting somebody in the back with Hawkeye. Trademark Nikki. Wow. <laughs> but evidently I don't do it as well as you do. <laughs> it's a skill. It is a skill. <laughs> At least, no stupid cover this time. Alright, so Cyclops, and again, so wishing I had used the Children of the Atom card here so I had to use my first action to get rid of stagger I had I could have done so much more with this had I uh, had that card so optic blast on Dr. Strange and using the eye of Agamotto I block it all It's Wong's turn. Now this is where I blow Nikki's mind with what I do with Wong. I meditated and did nothing else. I know. I, you're all shocked. Okay, Thanos is going to attack Hulk. He's very angry. <laughs> we were so tired at this point. <laughs> It'd been a day. And I think that was a side. Oh, that's a side spot. No. I was going to say the building should have been right. But... No. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, I almost had the opportunity to save myself. I said I needed two criticals and then two more saves. I rolled the two criticals. I didn't get the last two saves. So, he KO'd uh, Hulk. That was awesome, though. We thought we were both looking at that first dice roll. We're like, what? <laughs> but no, alas, it was not meant to be. <laughs> that would have been so cool. All right, so I am activating Doctor Strange. That's why I love this game. You never know what's going to happen sometimes. Uh, moving Doctor Strange. Seriously can't stand Doctor Strange. Why, Storm? So, uh, yeah, I am going to cast uh, the Crimson Bands of Citrac, but I'm also going to do a one-two punch. Last time I tried to do that, it didn't work too well. This time, it's a good attack. I get two more dice, and as you can see there, I actually uh, am very close to rolling what I need to for the Crimson Bands, and there it is. So, this is very cool because not only... Uh, did I do damage, but I did the Mystic Binding. Since she has not activated yet, I automatically put an activation token on her. So she basically has to skip this turn. That's so awesome. Okay, Nikki does not think so. I can look by this look of her face. She does not think that's awesome, but it really is. Okay. Um, let's see here. I believe I am getting ready to activate... Cyclops. And he is going to use that very pretty portal thing there. 
Yeah, it's a two-way street, double-edged sword, whatever you want to say. I love how he just kind of walks out next to uh, Long here too. It's like so. <laughs> and I gotta wonder, watching this game again, if at this point I should have just attacked Wong because. But they don't know what you're about to do. What you're about to right, do. Right, I'm about to. So I'm. I think that was the four I was, no, that was the five I was holding. Um, I wanted to attack Dr. Strange because he's holding the, uh, right. So I'm, I'm trying to decide what to do and I end up using, to me, my X-Men to move up a little bit. Um, and I go ahead, I don't have enough power to do the optic devastation so I do the um, optic blast optic blast to try to get some power first I do a quick shot with uh, Hawkeye yeah annoying Andy is foiling all of my plans <laughs> <laughs> you barely even noticed that attack there were so many opportunities in this game with Cyclops that would have been so awesome, but something happened that blocked me. And at this point, it's really about power. I needed more power. More power. So that's why I wonder if I should have just gone after Wong, I would have gotten that point. Um, but, oh well, you, you learn, you lose, you learn. Live and learn. Live and learn, okay, or lose, possibly. So you did two damage, and miraculously, uh, I used the Horgoth 20 Wisdom, and I blocked that damage. So you try it again. Even more Optic Blasts, even better. I feel like Beats is in the background with his hat backwards. It's Radical Dudes. <laughs> Just sound like a Ninja Turtle now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just don't think of Beast sounding like that. Well, he does. <laughs> the freestyle, the animalistic freestyle. It's when he gets funky. That's right. All right, so <laughs> Hawkeye, I'm removing the shock token, and then I am going to do the Nikki special, which is a shot in the back I to Storm. We can call that the Andy special now. You're doing it so often. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to do as much damage to Storm as possible here. Um, she's very close to being uh, dazed. Uh, and I did uh, four damage there. She blocked two of it. But that was enough. I did daze her. Um, this is one of those, should I have waited as well? Don't know. It happened. All right, so Nebula, I'm moving her. She's There's no use for her on the other side of the board. She would be at better use uh, over by Doctor Strange and all those guys. No. Yep. No. It's happening. No. Be gone with ye. So she is putting herself in a good position for the next round. So now it's Wong. <laughs> so I meditate. I know that's going to be a shocker at this round. I thought you just did two strikes. I did, but meditate's a superpower. Oh. Okay. It's zero cost. See, I've never played Wong, so. Yeah. So I'm going to strike Cyclops in the back. See? Two damn, hey, well, half. 50 50, I guess. But he's got a four defense. Yeah, see? That's like, I. Oh, I did one. Yeah. Woo! Go Wong! You just never really expect Wong to do anything, or I don't. So I'm going to do it again. No mercy. I feel that's what Wong is doing. No mercy here. Uh, three damage again. That's not bad. Crit. I think the problem I have with him is, unlike other four-pointers, his is a physical, or like a lot of them. Um, and physicals are generally the one that people have the most defense for. Um, but you can do some pretty awesome things with a physical attack, obviously. Uh, I hit Nikki for, I think, another one there, so. 
I got Cyclops' attention. So this is the end of the round. We are just kind of figuring out points here. And as you can see, it's now 12 to 7. Versus Doctor Strange. Hurricane plus Eye of the Storm. Which gave me two extra dice. So this is an area two attack, so now she gets to do Hawkeye. So she KOs Hawkeye, and then uh, Doctor Strange got two damage, and then he gets one extra damage uh, because he has flight, and anyone with flight gets that extra damage. All right, so Lightning Bolt. So in what other game can you say, I'm going to dodge a building, but in this game, you can totally dodge a building. So I had a crappy first roll using Ivagamoto. Uh, I end up uh, taking uh, one damage from that. Dodging a building. Actually, it's more rubble, but still. So I am stunned from that attack. Uh, from the first one, actually, I think. One of the attacks stunned me. Uh, so now I'm looking at Nebula over there. I'm going to use the Bolts of Bedevilment. Now Nebula, I believe, is almost back to full health. I think she only has one damage now because of her cybernetics. So I really need to start taking care of her. Um, but that's not going to do it. So three damage. You block two of that. No, I'm sorry. You haven't blocked yet. You block two of it, like I was saying. I was just being <laughs> psychic there. So you took one. So I'm gonna do it again. I really wanted to do a hit and run myself, but that wasn't gonna happen. So hit for three this time again. and took two even though she wasn't supposed to reroll that one we knew what she was doing there so so she's got three damage on her so yeah she must have healed herself all the way up before this round sitting on one stamina okay so optic devastation against dr strange Seven. So I blocked two. I knew at this point I needed to take the hit. I had to hope that in the next round I could recuperate, but going into another round with minimal health and having the scoring unit in your hand is not a good recipe for victory. Yes, that's true probably was just better to get that over with so I decide for my second action I would love to do a hit and run I don't have enough power for it um, so um, I go pick pick it up uh, I always forget what it's called 
power cord. The power cord. So I have Wong, and Wong is just getting as far as way, but scoring as he can. Uh, he's meditating. I'm pretty sure I'm on full power at this point, and not a darn thing to do with it, really. All right, so I'm moving Nebula up to try to take care of Wong. He's just really annoying me. Shock sword attack. Very dazed. Yeah, very, very dazed. All right, so then Thanos, I'm just keeping him there to get that point. So, yeah, this is pretty much go time. Um, it's super close. We both have the potential to win. I'm going all out on this round. Not that I wouldn't, but uh, I feel Doctor Strange is feeling very amped up at this point. Uh, Cyclops is not uh, sitting on many stamina, so I'm going with him doing bolts of bedevilment. So started with a very solid four hit. I want to say you were on two stamina at this point. And you use that quick draw on me again. Uh, but I was able to daze you. And grab the uh, power core as a result. Now I had to get rid of that really pesky storm. Um, I have a new respect for storm against uh, Doctor Strange because of that hurricane ability of hers. Uh, so I'm trying to, trying to take her actions out here with the uh, Crimson Bands again. Uh, definitely not going to do it with just three hits. And because of cover, uh, she's already absorbed two of that. So I'm re-rolling all my dice, hoping again for the Crimson, uh, or the Mystic Bindings. I just need a crit, and unfortunately it does not happen. That would have been epic, but... So I'm holding it, though. I have six stamina. I'm holding it. I'm feeling... Okay. <laughs> I don't think she had cover there, did she? Yeah, I was just out of two. Oh, okay. So this is me moving Thanos. Um, I could have kept him there to get that point, but I thought moving him up, that's my only chance of winning, is giving Storm the her hurricane attack with the death decree and try to take out Doctor Strange. So Wong is going up now. He wants a little bit of payback. And he does some Kung Fu justice. Four hit, three crits. Yeah, he's a little upset with uh, Nebula over there. Ends up doing six. She blocks two. Yeah, that was pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> so now the last play of the game. Super duper close here. This will determine the end of the game. Yes, so if Storm can take Doctor Strange out. With one, she's staggered right now. So I've got, right, so I have to do it with one. And I've got Thanos over there, so I use Death Decree, which adds four dice, because she's on her damage side. And uh, what is that? Too many. <laughs> seven. Yeah, you for seven. So that would have gotten me down to five, but with Hurricane, that was still six. So I had to do Eye of Akimoto. And sadly, it did not work. She got me. I, by that one last point, that was a good game. Doctor Strange is out. So Storm picks up that. 
that's it. So that was quite a game, Andy. That was an, an insane game. <laughs> I really thought the defenders were going to win that one. I was hoping they were going to win that one. <laughs> um, yeah. that <laughs> Super close. Yeah. You, you can't... You can be mad, I guess. But you have to... You know, that is a one hell of a game. When it comes down to the last play of the game. Um, and whoever... Is the the better roller or better strategic or whatever you want to call it? I think it's both. I think that's what I love about this game um, is the fact that you've got to use strategy and there's a bit of luck involved. Yeah. So it's it's just up to the gods or whatever. But yeah, and unlike other games, there are mechanics in this game, especially the way the uh, the two crises are put together, that. The game is not really over until it is over. And, you know, that may be kind of a stupid saying, but this game was not over until that last round. Even though I was out to just two people, or down to two people, you had Thanos, you had your pretty much whole team minus Beast. Um, but because I had one really good, powerful character in one, um, you know, but I had a chance. Not only the last round, but the last play the last turn that's what it came down to yeah and Thanos was over way over on the other side of the board so I had to make the decision in round five to keep him over there and get that point it was such a close game I could have moved him on up there and and fought you know um round six with him right in it but I wouldn't have gotten that point and I so I made that decision right or wrong and then round six I made the decision to move close enough so that storm it was going to be whoever was left over there could get the the death degree decree dice i have a hard time saying that <laughs> yeah yeah um yeah had you moved him earlier and the game was forced to go into round seven i think it would have definitely been yours i feel confident in saying that the game had to end in round six um and that gave me the chance to still win. But yeah, wow. Um, you know, it's one of those things that had I gotten one critical off on that last attack with uh, Doctor Strange, I would have won. Uh, you know, but you knew, and I, I wasn't even aware you were kind of thinking about this before the game even began. You knew Hurricane was a direct counter to a flyer, which means Doctor Strange. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing you can do about that. That's like being thrown into a building uh, you will take one damage if you're a flyer. Right, because when you're playing Storm, you're kind of like, oh, I really want to uh, do Hurricane for an attack. But it's got to be worth it. And to be worth it, because it's a lot of power, I think it's four power. And then uh, it's better if you can do it to a flyer because they get an extra damage. So if you're not around someone who can fly, it's sometimes you're wondering, is it worth it? So, yeah. I think it was definitely worth it. She was pretty awesome this game. Yeah, we went back oh, three or four times to review all the cards, to watch the video just to make sure that's how it really ended. Um, 
Yeah, because yep. she was also staggered. She was staggered, and we didn't realize it at first. We're like, well, did she do two attacks? No, it was her first attack. That's what did it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, really good game. Um, it was fun. Now, again, as we said earlier, this was kind of a fan-requested one um, because they wanted to see Mystic Hulk versus Thanos. Now, I think the Mystic Hulk concept comes into... Had he gone against, had Hulk gone against anybody else, a Mystic Punch would have done far more than a physical or energy. Um, but it just so happened that Thanos was three across the board, I think, um, even on Mystic. So doing normal physical was just the way to go, and it saved me some power, anyways. Um, then we ultimately decided this fit in well with our X Men narrative. Um, you've gotten very high, finely honed with them. Yeah, I like playing them now that I kind of know how they work. And that was really fun playing Thanos. So I'm glad that somebody who viewed our videos suggested it because that was, it was really fun. And I, I honestly have never been like, yeah, Thanos, but that was, that was cool. And I think I'd play him better next time. So. And it sounds like the next game will be the next time, potentially. Yes. So uh, the next game we're looking at is Brotherhood versus Thanos and the Black Order. Should, we're, we're still working out exactly what the uh, squads are going to look like there, but it will be a purely mutant team against a very thematic Black Order team. Because uh, I'm scared to death, frankly, of fighting the Black Order using their leadership abilities, uh, you know, having to take on their leadership abilities. But speaking of leadership abilities, oh God. <laughs> I know that or, uh, Doctor Strange is pretty insane, but Storm. I think there was five times in this game where cover completely saved your butt. Yeah, if it hadn't been for that, I can't see myself have won, it, won this game, so... That, <laughs> that might be now, as far as I'm concerned, the most powerful leadership ability in the game. And I hope to God we're playing it right, but I, I, we've reread it numerous times, we have to be. Um, but yeah, the, you know, early in the game, Somebody would have told us yeah, by now. Somebody told us. <laughs> and if we're not, please be gentle. But, uh, yeah, earlier in the game, it really didn't matter. And by the way, we appreciate when you tell us. So oh, yes, very much, <laughs> very very much. Uh, but early in the game, it didn't matter. But in the late game, well, starting round three, that's when the ranged attack started to begin for me, and that really screwed with me too because I had some other plans uh, of things I wanted to do. And I couldn't because I didn't, I wasn't able to pull off uh, the kind of attacks because you, I knew you were going to automatically take one less damage from them. Uh, so, yeah, well played on that one. Very well played. Uh, you know, other characters, I, again, this was my second time playing Strange and I really enjoy him. I yeah, know know. he's really, well, it's just because he's so good. He's so annoying. Oh my gosh. So, and that's the, the fun thing about, you know, we were kind of talking about Thanos boosts his squad offensively. Strange boosts his squad defensively. So they are really fun counters to play against each other. Uh, and I think that's what really made this game for us. Uh, you know, that we are very familiar with almost all the characters minus Thanos uh, at this point. So he was really the only unknown. Um, I would totally play Hulk again. Um, I know he's not the best, and now that She-Hulk has been spoiled, or at least uh, information about her is out, he's a lot less good. You know, when you when you think about him compared to her. So I'm hoping they do some kind of update to him. Nonetheless, there is nothing more fun than when you get plus five extra dice for your attacks. That, especially with Hulk, especially with Thunderclap, um, that is just pure joy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it gave you a lot of joy. It did. I mean, you heard probably <laughs> just me rewatching that again just got me all giddy again. So, um, any other thoughts about the game? I mean, it was fun. Yeah, no, I, I regretted some of the cards I chose. Um, me too. I regretted using first class. We were in a hurry to start this game. We had other things going on, so we were quickly trying to pick our cards, and that's one that I have just been playing with the X-Men, and I wasn't thinking it through. It it wasn't a good one for this crisis. It really didn't make a lot of difference. It saved one power for Beast, I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
and it would have been way more um, practical for me to go with Children of the Atom in this one. Um, there was a lot more uh, special conditions flying around in this game with it's, the defenders. Especially so, with, yeah, the Crimson Bands. Yeah. So. so I really was wishing I had done that. It would have, I would have had a couple of more really good attacks had that happened. Very good. From Cyclops, I think it was, is that I'm thinking of. <laughs> he had this, like, this one turn he was on, it was like, that would have given him such awesome attacks, so. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, wow. Um, I guess the last thoughts are, again, thank you to everyone who's watching these. We, we're, we get lots of very positive comments. I've said it before. We really appreciate it. We do read every one of them. Um, we never uh, ignore when somebody has given us a rule correction because we want to be perfect. We want to do this game perfectly. We will never play perfectly, I guess, but we don't want to play wrong because we've got the rules wrong. Oh, yeah. I really appreciate it when people leave comments or just tell us what you want to see. Or anything. Yeah. We're, we're always happy here. I mean, we really do get excited about that. Uh, so until the next time, Brotherhood v. Black Order should be interesting. Magneto this time. Uh, doing his leadership ability against Thanos. Six point versus six point leader. Well, here's probably going to be eight when it's all said and done, but should be lots of fun. So yeah. we will see you then.